Well, hello. Welcome back. How's it going, all you real people? Hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another crisp November in Texas. It's, I don't know, it feels like it's 70 right now. It's, it's a little chilly, but not too bad. It actually feels really good compared to the heat waves we've been having. And guys, guess what? We are back. I don't know if you can tell by the bridge, but we are back out here at this little uh, runoff of the lake. So technically it's a creek under a bridge that's also a runoff of the lake up here. Yeah, but guys, I haven't been out here in a while and already like, y'all can just tell by looking right here, look, the beavers are back. They have dammed this up because last time we were here, guys, this there was no dam right here and uh, the water was just free flowing. So the water level way back there was really, 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 really low and already looking, there's like water flooded everywhere. The leaves are everywhere. So we got some good water levels back here, guys, which hopefully means there's some good fish back there. So uh, we're just gonna start walking around. Look at this little makeshift bridge someone made. I'm definitely gonna get wet. I'm gonna try not to get too wet. Okay, we made it. We're good. We're safe, guys. We made it. Okay, guys, so we're gonna head back here. Tony and Danny are supposed to be showing up a little bit later. They said they're on their way. I wanted to go ahead and get down here and get a feel for it since I haven't been on down here in about maybe a month. It's been a while. Y'all seen my other videos. I've been out going other places, doing other things. Right now we're gonna trip through this treacherous wilderness and try to make it back here to some deep water. But uh, yeah guys, look, I mean, it's a little trashy people you know come out here and trash the area which is really sad people really shouldn't do that but it's good fishing back here especially when you can find the fish give them to bite it's really good guys so no my poles give me it okay but yeah we're gonna walk back here so we can catch some fish guys Alright guys, so this is going to be our first little spot right here. I only say this because when I was tying on a new lure, I like, I've never seen this happen before, but there was like a bow fin that was just jumping like two or three times in the same spot. It was so weird. I don't know if he was trying to eat a fish or what, but usually when you see a fish jumping, that's a good sign that there's other fish around. So, so this little jerk bait, see if we can get bit and not get stuck on a tree. I know last year, I think I made it a video. I was fishing pretty much right in the same spot. I caught like a huge bass. But I have a feeling there's not gonna be anything here. There's a lot of sticks and I really don't wanna get hung up. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a good old pass on this spot for now. But if I come back and I see a fish jumping, y'all already know what time it is. So we're gonna move down, head back down towards the spillway. Trying not to fall in the water. But guys, this is looking really, really good. Like I was really afraid there's gonna be a whole lot of leaves in the water. Like it was gonna be really hard to fish a jerk bait or crank bait or anything like that. But there's no leaves. It's crazy. All the leaves have been pushed down that way, which means there's a good current flowing. So, you know, all the positives. So today's looking really good, guys. Looking really, really good. Wow, all right. I could have swore the spinner bait was gonna do it, guys. I could have freaking swore. But, yet again, I was wrong. So nothing on the jerk bait, nothing on the spinner bait. My only other option is to go for something that's lipless crankbait. It's gotta be it, gotta be. It's got to be. And I'm really worried about doing that because there's sticks and stuff down there. I know it's going to be my luck that I'm going to get it stuck. I just know. I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. I need to get a better tackle box. Alright. So we're going to tie on the old KVD lipless crank bait.
and pray to the fish gods that this is what gets their attention and gets them to bite. Because they're here. I know they're here. And I guarantee you they're sitting down there at the bottom laughing at me right now. Because like, oh, he doesn't know what he wants to throw. Blah, 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 blah. But I guarantee you guys, they hear this and see this. It's going to change their minds. There it is, guys. There it is. No, we spit it. No. My hooks are fine. I don't know what happened. No, guys. No. No. Golly. Dang it, guys. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That was a really good bite. That was a really good bite. Like, I'm not gonna lie, honestly, at first, I thought I was stuck on somewhere, snagged a little branch, because that lipless crankbait just stopped. So I tugged on it, and I felt it tug back, and I was like, tug, and I yanked it. And I could've swore I set the hook good. I could've swore I set the hook good, but I guess when he jumped, I just I just not had the line tight enough. I guess there's just that little bit of slack in there, and he tossed it. Dang it. That's what's crazy about the bass in this creek, guys. They are the most notorious bass of jumping and shaking hooks I've ever fished. Like, going to the lake, they'll jump. They don't shake the hook like that. These guys are like, they thresh it out. They just thrash it. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But, guys, uh, I spent enough time here chasing this creek. We're going to continue moving down to the little spillway. And hopefully there's more giants down there, guys. Hopefully. Because I have to redeem myself after that. that. That was bad. Have to redeem myself. Redemption time, baby. Redemption. Alright guys, we made it out here to the little spillway spot. It's looking good. Nice calm water. Let's get us a big one. Got him. Got him. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. I got him. I got him. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good lord, look how red those lips are. All right, guys. There we go. Look at this guy. Nice little pound and a half. Look how red those lips are, guys. And You know, I caught them on the, uh, if I can get it up here. Sorry. On the good old KVD lipless crankbait. Yes. But guys, I want you all to see how red his lips are. Isn't that crazy? Just a beautiful, healthy fish right here, guys. That is just amazing. I've heard a lot of people say that when their lips are red like that, that means they're eating on like crawfish and stuff. But guys, can we just take a minute to admire 
how beautiful this bass is. Ah, gorgeous, guys, gorgeous. Now let's get a release on him real quick. All right, buddy. There you go. And he's good. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. See, that's what I love about this little creek and this little runoff right here is that when it gets cold in winter, these bass get so light colored and so thick and healthy and they put up such a good fight. It's crazy. Like yet again, when that bass hit that uh, lipless crankbait, it stopped. It just stopped. Like every time it does that, you think you just got stuck on something, you're hung. No guys, it's always a bass and it is just such a great, great fight. And look, this is this is the little spill. Y'all seen it before in my videos. If y'all are an OG of the channel, you've seen this spill before. But guys, I'm telling you, when it gets cold here in Texas, like November, December, January, I don't know why, but these bass get light colored, they get healthy, they get thick, they start putting on those pounds, guys, and they put up a heck of a fight. So let's throw this rattle trap back out here again. I mean, I'm sorry, lipless crankbait out here again. Sorry, I'm excited. And uh, try to catch another one for you guys. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna put the old rattle trap down for now. I'm gonna start throwing out a good old shaky head, black and blue. See what it'll do. Okay guys, so here's a little tutorial in the video. Uh, next thing we throw in is a shaky head. I don't know if any of y'all know what that is, if you've ever thrown one, but if you know anything about it, I'm gonna give you a little quick rundown. Pretty much this is a shaky head. It's pretty much a weighted head with a screw on lock with a hook. Now, the way you use this is you uh, take your Cinco or trick worm, whatever worm you're using, and you put it on the little screw lock right here. And what that screw lock's gonna do is it's gonna hold your bait in place really, really good so when you get a bite, you don't lose your bait every time. You have to keep putting on a new worm and a new worm and a new worm. So the screw lock really, really comes in handy. So if you ever get some uh, shaky heads, definitely get the ones with the screw locks. You'll thank me later. And after you get that uh, Cinco screwed on there, you're gonna have the hook. And what you do with the hook is pretty, pretty simple. It's almost like a Texas rig, except that hook does not come completely out of the bait. You want to still have that hook still submerged in that bait, but ever so slightly. So it's going to look a little bit like that, which is a little weird, but what that does is it makes the uh, shaky head completely weedless so you can throw it in the grass, rocks, anything like that, and it will not get snagged. And also, what it'll do is hide that hook so when a fish bites it right here, guess what's going to happen? Bam, that hook is going to come out just like that, and it's going to give you a really good hook set. So that, guys, is pretty much the complete rundown of the shaky head, and this is what it looks like. Again, yeah, but I'm gonna throw this bad boy out there. Hopefully, catch a fish. Oh my gosh, bro! Don't rip it too hard. Hold on, let me get my camera. Oh, I think that's bigger than the last one. Land him, Danny. Let me see that bass, oh, Danny. Good it. Lord, Danny. Yes, sir. You wanna wait? Yeah, I got a spill. I can take a picture of it, too. I got a video send it, too. It's a good one. All right, here we go. Throw it on the scale. Another one. <laughs> All right, here. Damn, this one heavy. Let's clip it on. All right, let go. Coming to proof. No way. No, that's more. That's more than four or five, bro. Four fifteen. Here, hold pick it up a little bit, take the weight off the scale. <clears throat> Zero it out again. You can try right. my spell too. Okay, drop. Four. Now let's try your scale. There's this, there's no way he's takeable? a four. You wanna take no. that? You're dead? Nah nah nah, I'll just leave him. He's too big. It'll, it'll go some more. Feel yeah, Staying I feel bad taking it home. I do want to take it though, show them, just to show them. How do we do it last time? Just put it in here. Get right in the little gill slot. Hold on. That's a five. Yeah, five nine. I believe that way more. Oh my god. Yeah, five. Okay. It's a little bit. Five smaller. nine, five ten. Yeah, five ten. We'll go with that. Mm. Way to go. What'd you catch him on? Uh, that, that, uh, 
That a what? Red one, blue worm, I think. <laughs> uh, Don. Was he just sitting there on the bottom? Yeah. Good lord, man. Way to go, Danny. Guys, I can't believe how Danny just did that. Danny was just sitting over here on this tree talking to Tony back there, and he just threw that wacky worm out there and let it sit for like three, four minutes. And he had his pole sitting there like he was catfishing, and all of a sudden you just see that rod tip go ban, 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 and he caught that freaking five pounder, guys. That was freaking insane. I've never seen someone catch a five pounder that way, just throw a wacky worm out there and just completely let it sit for a couple minutes and then just bam, hook up on a freaking monster, guys. That was so cool. That was so freaking cool. Definitely the highlight of the day for sure, guys. That was that was neat. That was really cool. Good job, Danny. <sighs> Got one. Who thinks I can flip him? Yeah. No. Oh. Calm down there, buddy. Belly flop. All right, guys, so we're heading back down here towards the Jeep. We're leaving Danny and Tony. We spent about two, two and a half hours down there. I caught that, I caught one fish off the spillway, that one on the rattle trap. I mean, lipless crankbait, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't talk today. All right, guys, so we're heading back down here towards the Jeep. We're gonna fish this little creek before we call it a day, though. Uh, leaving Danny and Tony, we were down there for about two hours. Uh, Danny caught that freaking massive five and a half pounder off that wacky worm just letting it sit there still freaking crazy guys can you believe that freaking crazy I, uh, Tony didn't catch anything I caught one off the wacky worm off the spillway another one on the lipless crankbait but guys I'm gonna come back down here I'm gonna try to catch that fish I lost earlier just have a feeling he's still hanging out around the same spot so hopefully I'll get lucky but it's not over yet guys it's not over yet Final attempt. Try to catch one more fish before I go. <sighs> Looks like this place has seen better times. It's really grassy. Really, really grassy. Oh no. Did I really just do that? Come on now. Uh, 
All right, guys, so that is where we are going to end today's video before I lose any more baits. My whole goal today was to come out here and catch fish and lose no baits, but last cast, I had to throw it in a freaking tree. Golly, that is stupid. Stupid, 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 but it's okay. Luckily, it wasn't like a super expensive lipless crankbait. It was just a KVD crankbait, but it was one of my favorites, and I caught a lot of fish on it, but it'll be okay. Guys, that is what we're going to end today. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. Wait for that car to pass because they're super loud. Anyway, I really hope you all enjoyed the video today. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this fishing adventure, guys. It's been a while since I came back out here to this little runoff, but it never disappoints, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Will Action channel. Hit that notification bell so you can watch more awesome videos like this. And when they come out, you can get the notification. Be the first one there. But guys, I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm totally out of shape. Uh, I love y'all. Peace.